Welcome to ForexTV.com. It's Tuesday, February 12th. I'm Remy Hookie for your New York Forex Market Buzz. In afternoon trade, as of 1.05 p.m. Eastern Time, Euro dollar is at 1 and 45.88. Sterling dollar is trading at 1 and 96.17, while dollar yen is at the 107.40 level. The U.S. dollar has continued to pull back against the euro as well as cable in the session. U.S. equities have rallied with the Dow Industrials seeing a triple digit advance. Stocks strengthen as Warren Buffett's proposal to rescue three of the largest bond insurers boosted stocks. In an interview with CNBC, Buffett offered to uh, reinsure over $800 billion in muni bonds. Joining me this afternoon is George Davis, Chief Technical Analyst at RBC Capital Markets. Good afternoon, George. Good afternoon, Remy. Thanks for joining us today. My pleasure. Well, we're seeing the U.S. dollar continue to soften against the euro after gaining last week um, with dollar stop, uh, sell stops being triggered. So where does the euro face uh, immediate resistance? Uh, in terms of some of the key price levels to watch right now uh, with respect to the euro, um, we've got some uh, resistance that comes in at 146.65. Uh, that's a fairly minor level, though. I would say in terms of more significant resistance, uh, more, more specifically the 148.99 level uh, is more significant, and that is very close to that 149 area uh, that the euro has tested three times since uh, November and, and has failed to sustain a break above that area on all three occasions. And moving on to the sterling, we've had inflation data out from the UK yesterday and today, but we've seen the currency uh, touch an intraday high of 196.33 against the dollar, breaching the 196 level on the day. So ahead of tomorrow's BOE quarterly inflation report, as well as RICS data for the sterling against the US currency and euro, if you could give us your levels of support and resistance. Yeah, in terms of uh, the pound sterling right now, uh, we have support coming in at 194.68. And then to the top side, we have resistance coming in at 197.99 and then 199.56. Bias right now uh, over the shorter term is, is for a little bit of a push higher uh, for sterling. And uh, looking at the euro sterling cross, uh, we have support that comes in at 73.92 with resistance at 75.23. And um, let's take a look at volatility in the financial markets as well as equities. We've seen less of a correlation between the low yielders against the U.S. dollar. So for the Japanese yen against the majors, if you could give us your near-term forecast. Yep, yeah, sure. Uh, in terms of uh, Japanese yen right now, uh, I think we are going to see dollar yen try and push a little bit higher, especially just given the fact that we're very close to an important resistance level at 107.92. And uh, I think if we continue to see equity markets do better uh, as, as this week progresses, that would likely allow risk aversion uh, to decrease, and as a result, uh, the yen should suffer. And if we do take out that important resistance at 107.92, we start looking at the 110, the figure 11010 10 area on the top side. Uh, to the downside, we've got support at 106.20, which is expected to attract buying interest right now. Switching over to Euro Yen, uh, we have support coming in at 154.52, resistance at 159.46. Again, the same situation there holds. Uh, if equities continue to uh, improve as we move throughout this week, that would likely decrease risk aversion uh, and allow Euro Yen to test the top end of the trading range. And then finally, for Aussie Yen, uh, we have support at 95.22 with resistance at 99.79. Okay, George, before we wrap it up, if we could take a look at tomorrow's session. In the morning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, we have U.S. retail sales coming out. Um, and also, President Bush is expected to sign the fiscal stimulus package. So if you could tell us about upcoming data in tomorrow's session, as well as event risk for the Forex marketplace. Yeah, in terms of the key data coming out, I mean, as you mentioned, tomorrow we have President Bush uh, uh, signing off on the stimulus package. Now, I think... Uh, for the most part, uh, a lot of that information has already been digested by the market and factored into prices at current levels. So I don't think we'll see any sort of dramatic reaction uh, in, in the markets uh, from that development. Uh, but more importantly, on the data front, uh, the retail sales number is going to be uh, extremely important, uh, especially, obviously, against the current backdrop of, of economic and equity market weakness. Uh, if we continue to see uh, an erosion in, uh, in uh, consumer confidence uh, that filters its way through into retail sales data, I think that could potentially have some negative implications, uh, not only for equity markets, uh, but also for the greenback over a medium-term time horizon. 
And uh, and then, as you mentioned, uh, in the UK, we've got the RICS housing price uh, index, uh, which will be watched again, just given the, the dramatic increase that we've seen in real estate values in the UK over the last four or five years. If that number comes out a little bit softer, perhaps that would give the Bank of England a little bit of leeway to cut interest rates. And obviously, the uh, Bank of England's quarterly inflation report will feed directly into that variable as well. If we do see the Bank of England flag uh, moderating inflation risks, uh, then perhaps that would open the door for a near-term rate cut as well. Okay, George, thank you very much for your insight and analysis into the Forex Marketplace. You're very welcome. This has been your Forex Market Buzz with George Davis, Chief Technical Analyst at RBC Capital Markets. I'm Remy Hokey. Join us later this afternoon for PM Exchange, right here on ForexTV.com.